Hello, we're gonna try vlogging this week. So, hi. Ha <laughs> ha. I, hmm, <laughs> not gonna lie. It's a very stressful time. It's this on top, like within, like I have all this work stuff that's going on and I want to get this stuff done. And so I'm trying to like push myself to do booktube things so that it's making me not like doing them. So I just took two weeks off of filming vlogs and think how my vlogs are gonna go from now on. It's just, if I feel like picking up the camera that day, I'll do it, but it's not gonna be they for sure start on Monday Mondays, they for sure end on Sundays, you know? Does it, I hope that makes sense. If I just feel like it, I'm gonna do it because I think that that will help me <laughs> have them more consistently, to say the least. But with that being said, I do have something fun that I am excited about, and that is, oh, good lord, the real box. So I got sent this box from Real Box, and it is obviously the Little Women box. So what I know about this brand is they basically just like it got some movies, they got some books, they got some things that they send you that have to do with both in a book box. And they reached out to me and asked me if I would want to unbox one and obviously I wanted to do that because that sounds awesome. So, oh lord, let's unbox. Oh, oh this is cute. Okay, so when I first open it, this is what I see. That says my name if you can't read it. But this is such a silly sidebar. I do just want to say I appreciate <laughs> bubble wrap. Not only because I like to pop it and Ginger likes to play with it, but because I feel like sometimes book boxes just like are living on a hope and a prayer that things will get there unharmed. And I would just like to say sometimes that hope and prayer don't translate to the USPS system. So I appreciate that. So the first thing I see are some of those like travel to go. They're not really reusable mugs though. And they say Meg and Joe and Beth and Amy. And if you don't know, I never saw this movie and I never read the book. So I'm gonna probably read it now because I really like this copy that I can already see right there. But I've just never, when the movie came out, there's something about Timothy Chalotay that I do not like. And I don't know, I I don't know what it is. I just really like Harry Styles and I feel like he's like a condensed version of that. And so I'm just like, let me just like Harry Styles. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. I know it doesn't. Also, it might honestly be my natural tendency to be like, it's hyped, burn it. Like, I, cause the movie was so incredibly hyped within booktube, it really was. I've never seen a classic that people ride so hard for, but I'm glad people loved it and liked it and it makes me want to read it. I just was like, listen, there's so many vlogs coming out about this. I'm overwhelmed because when there's vlogs coming out about the book, a certain book I want to read that book so I can watch those vlogs but with this book um it takes me a long time to read classics because it's not something I'm used to now that I'm out of my like all my English classes so an explanation no one asked for the first thing I see is I think is this a copy of Little Women it is okay so this is the cutest thing ever so we have this copy of Little Women just like a little moment you know a little moment I didn't mean to make that joke but I sure did and then they got a special printed cover for it which is so cute cute like it's just like a dust jacket but for a paperback also why did i not realize little woman was only 464 pages some of these copies make it look like big big oh my god there's two. Oh my god my mind's breaking and there's this one or there's this one you just like pick and choose honestly i'm gonna leave them both on there because i cannot be trusted and i know that about myself but i really like this floral version this is so adorable i kind of wish companies would make paperback dust covers is that Am I alone in that? I don't know. Never said that before, so I have no idea if I'm alone in that, but I better not be. You better be there for me. Dang it. <laughs> and then I also have a sticker, and I think this is kind of like a red bubble sticker, so it would go on like a bullet journal, laptop, phone case, you know, all the things. They're really durable stickers, which I really like. And this, honestly, it looks like it's... I just know that that one's Emma Watson. And then the other... I know Joe is someone that Timoshe... Timoshe? We're just gonna condense his name. Likes? I don't know. I don't know anything about it, to be honest. Sorry. <laughs> Next up, I think from the feel of these, they're probably candles. Oh, by the way, there is a spoiler card like to make sure you have all your items and to just say like what items are what or something. But I don't look at them because I like to just kind of find out, I guess. Oh my God, these already smell so good. So they're all wrapped in this really cute 
floral. We have our first, this, oh, okay, these are all candles from Novelty Yours, which I never buy from because I'm her. Oh, these smell really good. So the first one is Beth. And the next one we have is for Joe. This paper is really cute. I'm going to save this and use it in my bullet journal. Y'all don't even know. And then is Amy the one that was in that terrifying movie Midsummer, where the white people just kind of like really showed the white. You know what I'm talking about? Have y'all seen that movie? I hated that movie. My partner loved that movie. Meg and Amy are the next two. So it's just like this little set of candles and honestly, these smell really good. So Beth is a very like clean florally scent and then Joe is spiced cedar and thunderstorms. I think I would have a crush on Joe. Amy is champagne lavender. I don't think I'd like Amy much. And Meg is cotton tree and mint. Okay. I didn't know there's such thing as a cotton tree. Did I just show my butt? I thought that came up. Never mind. We're not even gonna go there. So then we have this little guy that I just pulled out, which is full of those little, what are these? They're like, I don't even know what to call them, but my cat loves them, whatever they are. But it's in this little vial and that is so cute. I love loose leaf tea in general, but I've never had jasmine tea. I feel like that's a basic one. It just smells like plants, which makes sense. I um, don't know why I expected anything else. It's literally jasmine. Then the next thing, and the next thing is a blank little journal with this quote on it. I am not afraid of storms for I am learning how to sail my ship. I like that quote. I've heard that quote before. I mean, this is a very famous book, Olivia. Come on now. Oh my God, there's so many stickers down there. I see Timothy. <laughs> Okay, so I'll, I'm gonna unwrap this book, but I'm gonna show you guys later, because I've heard of this book. It's a, there's two books in here, by the way. That's, it's not like I'm just talking about Little Women, because like, yeah, we've all heard of it, Olivia. Ooh, I like this. This is just like a little print that says support female filmmakers and it's just a bunch of female filmmakers. I like that a lot. That really confused me when there were two right there. I had for just a second a repressed memory of American Horror Story season four freak show. That one? Yeah. Do we all know what I'm talking about? Aww. And then there's another little print. Oh, all well, the people. I was right about Joe. I think I would think I would like Joe. And then we have just Timothy Chalamet hanging out. You know the TikTok I'm talking about? And then we have this book. This book is really pretty. Okay, so it's Joe and Lori. I'm assuming this is like a reimagining of if they had gotten together. Jake, are you good, friend? But I really like the back because it actually looks like an old school classic and the spine does too. Let me see if I can actually get you a better. There you go. See what I'm talking about? That's so pretty. That's so nice. Now, I I don't think I've... No, I have read something by Melissa Dela Cruz because she has vampire stuff, but I don't think I read that. But I read the Alex and Eliza one about Hamilton because I was in my Hamilton phase and then I realized I'm reading fan fiction about a real person. But these are fake people. So I think this is, this is okay, right? I can do this? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Also, sorry, it is stormy here and the clouds are rolling in. So that's why this is just up and down the light. Here we go. So I got two books, one of which I really wanted to read. The other one I'm kind of excited to read now because I also think I know Margaret Stoll, but I don't know what I've read by her. Oh, she was part of the Beautiful Creature series. Man, I don't care what anyone says. That movie we slapped. So I'm so excited. I want to just go burn all these candles and hang up these art prints to be quite honest. But yeah, thank you so much to Real Bookish for sending this my way. I definitely recommend this if you like books and movies and just book boxes in general. I mean, honestly, listen, we all know that I love fairy loot and owl crate with everything in my heart, but there's something that hits different about book boxes that put their themes on the box. You know, like I'm so lucky that this got to me safe and not, sometimes those owl crates come in hurt. But this came in really nice and I kind of want to like actually display it on, oh, that was my address. <laughs> But I was saying, I just want to put it on my bookshelf because it's really a really cute box. Make sure to check them out below. I will link them below where I said to check them out. Words are hard. I haven't vlogged in a minute, okay? I have another unboxing, okay? Because, listen, I'm not hauling all the books that I've bought whilst not vlogging. So, you're welcome for that, but fairy loot got here. <laughs> so, we're going to open the fairy loot. And I've already opened this because I thought I wasn't going to 
vlog it or anything so this is going to be the quickest fairy loot unboxing i've ever done in my life but i just wanted to show some of the items because i just thought of this box was kind of cool but we have a we hunt the flame i am assuming this is a tin for tea and if it's not um it's gonna be but what i like is this comes off but then there's also this other thing so even if the lid falls off because i don't know maybe you have a dog that gets on the counter every single time that you leave the house or you have a cat that likes to terrorize you you know maybe maybe you fit that character description and this would be nice and it will be nice i'm excited then we also have sandalwood scent bath salts which i think that this shows the generation that i'm in because every time i hear about bath salts i think about that one guy who literally ate a person off of the freeway in florida and then everyone thought that the zombie apocalypse was starting does anyone else remember that because that was a lot that was a lot i think i was in high school still then there's a spoon there's no such <laughs> i was trying to read the quote and then i was like and then there's a spoon like how does that sound <laughs> i mean there is a a spoon but uh there's no such thing as just a story i really like this i i know someone who would really like it as well and that would be my partner because they do all the cooking but no because this is too pretty and they would put it in the dishwasher <laughs> and that hurts me next up another candle because my day for like candles is just like up there like we're just i love nothing more than bookish candles i understand that i could get the same scent at bath and body works but honestly there's something different something different about it being bookish but this one is an ember in the ashes inspired which i actually am starting to do a reread of that first book so that i can continue on with the series because i really liked it i just don't remember why i didn't pick it up and then we have the tarot cards that i should really find the other ones for still haven't Pretty sure that's Alien and Ronan. Love them so much. And then I think this is a tapestry. <gasps> it is City of Brass. So it's a little tapestry from City of Brass. It says, often the mightiest things have the humblest beginnings. And I think that this is beautiful. Hey, oh my God. I'm gonna have just so many random tapestries hanging up around my room. Like I, listen, is that a problem though? No, I think that's the least problem. That's the least problemy problem I have. <laughs> what? And then I also know that this, I think, because when I first unboxed this, I couldn't tell what the heck it was supposed to be for, so I went and looked in one of the Facebook groups I'm in. It's supposed to be for sunglasses, but I can't wear sunglasses because I'm, I don't have any use for that. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. So then we have the book, but let's first look at the art prints. Yes, yes. I think this is gay, which is exciting, but I, I'm not sure if I'm right about that. But I know that the colors make me very happy. And it is Girl Serpent Thorn? Girl Serpent Thorn? Girl Serpent Thorn? Oh, I was right. Oh, I like this snake. I, I know everyone was talking about dogging on snakes, but I love the YA snake. I think she could stay for a while, you know? Like, just stick around. And then we have some green sprayed edges. I don't know if that picks up on camera as pretty as it looks in person. I don't think it does. It's not as light, but it's like mint green. It kind of matches these leaves right here, but it's just a smidge lighter. Like if you picked it on a color picker, on a color picker? Wow. On like a color code recognizer app thing and then just shifted it to the lighter side just a little bit that's what the spray edges look like that was a lot to explain one thing okay so now that i've hauled and unboxed two things let's let's talk about books so i've just decided that i'm not going to talk about the books that i did read whilst on a quote-unquote break because it would just be a lot so i'm just gonna talk about the one i'm currently reading which is the damned by renee audier which this is a great time to be trying to do another reading vlog to be honest because I absolutely love The Damned by Renee Audier so far. We already know about my love for the beautiful, like we're already there, you know? But I started this and I'm, I think, 56% of the way through, which is sad because I don't want it to be over, but it's also kind of amazing because I've only been reading it for like two days. So listen, I haven't been able to focus on books lately, but I have the power of God and anime on my side. And now I have just gotten all the reading done in one singular book. So The Beautiful is a vampire book set in New Orleans. I've talked about it just 
probably more than you've ever wanted to hear anyone talk about it. So I'm not gonna go full in depth what it's about, but if you like slow burn vampires where it's not exactly just like on page confirmation, but everything that they do is like, that's not human behavior, friend, then I think that you would like The Beautiful. Very lyrical, very beautiful, over the top kind of extra writing, which is probably my favorite style of writing. It's toned down from like Aaron Morgenstern or Lainey Taylor, but it's it's just so good. Like, it's just so good. And the ending of The Beautiful was just like... Okay. And then we get into The Damned, and I will say, the beginning of The Damned, I know I already can... Listen, I can already tell what a lot of people are gonna say. So, this is not spoilers for what happens in this series, because I think it was also hinted at, to be honest, in the first book, but it is... It's not spoilers for either book. Let me just... Let me be clear. But it is definitely a case of every magical creature's involved in this series, and I'm here for it, because I absolutely eat that up. Much like Crescent City, uh, it was every single magical creature you've ever heard of was in that book and I just think that that's great I think it's so fun. So that happens in the damned But it's done in a way that isn't so overwhelming and it just it makes a lot of sense Like if you read the shadow hunters books, they're kind of like downworlders in a way and I don't know I just really like it, but aha uh -huh. so <laughs> We are also shown the actual technical villain from the first book like confirmed on page and um I know that I just made fun of this in my mid-year freakout book tag about how people who wanted to read the beautiful and have vampires really just wanted Twilight with sex but there is a war between werewolves and vampires in New Orleans in this book and to me like that's kind of twilighty but the way it's done is way more like the originals if you have ever watched that cw show with like klaus and elijah michelson and all of them basically just all the original vampires which is called the originals i don't know why i explained that it's the title but it's a spin-off of the vampire diaries it's the better version of the vampire diaries to be quite honest but it is so good and this book is so good like i'm just having a really great time to be honest there's a lot of angst there was already a lot of angst with the ro like romantic aspect of this book because it was slow burn don't really like each other to liking each other not enemies to lovers because that gets thrown around a lot but it's just like met on the wrong foot to kind of starting to fall in love with each other and then you I, listen i ain't gonna tell you how it happens but it happens again in this book and it is i'm like what is even happening and it's so good and i also have to say that i'm watching Roswell, New Mexico. So now this is like another segment of this vlog. I don't even know where I'm going. But I binge watched Roswell, the OG Roswell from like the 90s, 2000s, whatever that was filmed. And we, I watched that with my sisters and brother. Like one summer, we just nonstop watched every single episode and we're absolutely obsessed with it. And then when I heard Roswell, New Mexico was coming out, I just about lost my mind. And it's basically those same characters from the OG, except if obviously that o like original didn't happen and they, it's when they're 27 years old. So it's, they were 17 and all the flashbacks that are happening in the show. And then it's now set 10 years later which first of all is awesome because I like that we're getting new adult content versus like all of these teenagers who are being played by 35 year olds and 40 year olds which is just weird but now it's a bunch of 30 year olds probably being played by 30 year olds and Ugh, if you have watched the originals, Jackson, the like werewolf king, I cried so hard about that boy <laughs> and that show. And then he plays Max Evans, who ugh, I don't know what it is about Liz and Max, but every time they're in a scene together, I cry. I couldn't stand them. I could not stand them in the original show. I thought they were so annoying because they're always just like, mm, I love you. Like, you know, which I mean, yeah, okay, they're teenagers. But in this show, they're just. I don't know, I think it's the actor's chemistry or it's just something, but every single time they're on screen together, I just start tearing up. Like, I don't know what's wrong with me. It, and I don't cry in things. Like, I don't cry in books, I don't cry in movies, I don't cry in shows. Like, unless kids or animals are getting hurt, I genuinely do not, like, show emotion in anything that I consume. But man, 
every time those two are on screen like even talking about them right now like I <laughs> I'm actually like I could cry right now I don't even I don't I <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me but yeah I just wanted to talk about that and now I'm like about to start crying about these characters this is I don't even know. It's a great show. <laughs> you should go watch it. But yeah, uh, my plans now are going to be to edit some of a video. I don't know if it'll be able to go up tomorrow. I mean, obviously my goal would be that it could go up tomorrow. Um, but I'm really not trying to pressure myself when it comes to editing, when it comes to filming and all of that stuff. Because I'm just trying to get back to where I honestly started with BookTube, which was just having fun with it. Um, yeah. And I want to get back to more of like enjoying Goodreads and putting reviews on there and taking bookstagram pictures because where I started was WordPress and bookstagram. So I would like to get back to that and that is my goal. So with that being said, I am probably going to... <laughs> Am I gonna delete my Twitter account? I might do that, honestly. But I'm gonna go edit that video and then just a little bit. And then if I get bored with it, then, you know, I'm just gonna go read the damned. And then we're going to pick up Olive Garden to bring to my mom for her birthday. And then that that is, that is what we're doing today. So, yeah. Peace and blessings. Hello everybody so it is oh god 6 58 on friday june 26 and i have decided that i am going to read and i need to get better at updating this vlog because i have not updated it since what wednesday which i know is only a day but still <laughs> I didn't and I need I also just got my Illumicrate box but I was like let me do some reading updates before I unbox another thing so I think that'll be later in this vlog or I might just move that to next week's vlog honestly because <laughs> three unboxings in one vlog feels like a lot but it is that time of the month where all the book boxes come in because owl crates almost here too so I guess we're gonna have two unboxings in both these vlogs but what I am doing right now is reading The Damned you can't tell what this is The Damned by Renee Audier and I am 71% through and my Kindle tells me I have 44 minutes left so that's very exciting I was gonna record a little bit of everything going on right now um, I'm reading with Ginger you can't see her but I figured why not you know just have a little relaxing reading montage I miss having them in my vlogs I like having them in my vlogs I'm not gonna make them as long as I used to be but oh my god a green fuzzy fresh my goal is to finish the damn tonight and write out some notes I have I've started up my reading review note thing again because now that I have update fully deleted my Twitter I'm not gonna have as like easy access to just tweet out my thoughts of things but I also have so much more time to do things now that I'm not just constantly on Twitter refreshing and refreshing so I've decided I'm gonna channel all that into actually writing Goodreads reviews because I think that that would be fun and I always miss writing reviews on my blog so much because that's where I started in the book community was my blog on WordPress and then I had my own self-hosted website then I moved to bookstagram and then I was like let's go to booktube and now I'm kind of going back to my my route which is bookstagram goodreads reviews and some videos here and there I think that's gonna be a great time so that's my goal for those two my overarching goal that hopefully will happen this weekend is to pick up the city of brass and do a, a little quick reread of this i know it's 500 pages but to be fair i try to force myself not to skim read when i'm reading a book for the first time because as an english major you learn very quickly that when you have five classes that you are taking every single semester because you hate yourself uh, and every class has 200 pages of reading a week you have to you have to get smarter than the class you know what I'm saying so skim reading is a thing and sometimes that translates into my fun time reading and I gotta slow the old noggin down so I try not to skim read in general but on rereads I find it I don't know if y'all are this way but I find it hard to not skim read on rereads because you already know the world and so really I'm going into this almost like an episode recap of a show because I want to read the kingdom of copper but this was so much information and I read this a year ago almost exactly to a year ago today because I read this for the reading rush last year so I can very like I I'm pretty sure I did not I don't remember all this <laughs> Like, I just, I'm, I'm not so proud that I won't admit that. So, I would like to do a little 
little reread moment. Plus, I also just got The Empire of Gold in, so I want to read that. So it'd be awesome to get this one, read Kingdom of Copper, and then read that one. I just, I'd like to do that. And then, I don't know what the goal past that is, but we're just going to say it's smaller goals. Because, listen... <laughs> This is not on my end of year, my 2020 end of year TBR, which I am editing that video right now. And hopefully it will be going up on Saturday or Sunday at this point, honestly, because it's Friday and I have not finished editing it yet. But yeah, that is the, that's the plan for tonight. So we got a, we got a fall candle going. We sure do. We got a cat hanging right out of frame. But you'll see her. I think we might make this a uh, little hangout with Ginger while I read moment. And let me show you. Let me show you the reading vlog of the night. It is one of my best friends. <laughs> Miss Lexi from Alexandra rosalyn and yeah that's that's i'm just re-watching her spookathon vlogs and then i have a playlist that's on my channel if you want to watch reading vlogs that are just good in general but also these reading vlogs are those reading vlogs that have a lot of aesthetic shots in them so it's really easy to read along with them because there's a lot of music and their voices are very calm it involves it's lexi kaylin Brittany. i think i have some lala on there but i'm adding uh her summer vlogs in because i really like oliver summer vlogs they're just so they get just, they just give me a little serotonin you know just a little as a treat so <laughs> yes <laughs> oh my god my partner and i have been just saying as a treat after everything like i gave jake a bone yesterday and i was like jake you want a bone as a treat or ginger she goes crazy for her treats as a treat but she's aggressive about it she gets it from her mom so yeah let's 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 when we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right the future is bright oh, You and I, we got it oh, We don't need no more oh, Even in the hard times You and I can weather any storm Before I sleep something just happened and I just want to say when you guys all read this book or if you have read this book just know I called it it's something to do with Celine I called it I knew I knew <laughs> that this was the twist and Man, I love this series. I love this series so much. I know so many people are not gonna like the way that this series is going, but I do. I really do. I think that it is un perfecto. It's good. It's good stuff. Magnifique, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay, that's it. I just wanted to. I, Olivia, <laughs> actually guessed a plot twist. You know, <laughs> okay, bye. Oh, I'm just gonna.
So we tried to add flour to make it less sticky. It's gonna be fine. This is it's awful. It's the end of the world. <laughs> as we know it. Heart is fire, but baby, I bet you're cold without me, even when it's 90 degrees. Without me, I bet that you can get in sleep in the bed, lying awake, cause I'm not there beside you. Okay, hi, how are you? So, it is technically Monday, but I'm actually ending a vlog properly. I know. I know. I think it's because I've grown as a person. I've just really grown into who I am, what I want. I've matured. Just kidding. I think it's because I'm posting my vlogs on Tuesdays from now on. So, I really don't have an excuse to not do it. So, Let's talk about the book that I finished last night, which was great. I finished The Damned by Renee Audier. This is the sequel to The Beautiful. And I'm not going to spoil either book, other than, I mean, there are vampires in the books. But I will say, just like The Beautiful, I can see so many people either loving or completely hating The Damned. <laughs> I'm definitely going to put out a review of it because I really want to. I think that there was a lot of, there was a big trope that happened that a lot of people love in YA fantasy. Well, they have loved it. A lot of white characters have gone through it. I don't think any characters of, have they? Oh no, I did just, A River Royal Blood, yeah. Okay, well, it's the trope that everyone loves, but I, I can already foresee people being like, this is so tired, this has been done before. Then go to bed, girl. Like, if you're so tired, go to bed. Because this was done so well. And it's Renee Audier, so pew, pew, get out of here with that. I loved it so much. I loved the trope. I loved all the other supernatural creatures that we met. There's a war with vampires going on. Oh, vampires and werewolves. Let me include the other person. <laughs> It is so good. There is a love triangle thing developing that I don't like because it's clearly just happening for like the drama and I love a good love triangle but emphasis on good love triangle, you know? So I'm not the biggest fan of it but whatever. I did end up rating it five stars. It was more of a 4.75 but I was like, let me just bump it up because, I mean, I love Renee Audier. I just love these books. These books are really up there with the diviners for me. Like, I love the diviners and I love the beautiful, but I don't know which one I love more, you know? I think it's still the diviners, but depending on how this third book goes, I don't even know. Because the end of this book, the end of this book wasn't exactly a cliffhanger like the last one was. But it does leave you feeling like, um, well, what next? Like, you want more. So, that was really cool. Yeah, that was pretty much the only book I finished this week. So, that's a bummer. I'm gonna try to do better next week. I am gonna try to read, like, some thrillers or just something to really, uh, I don't know, read more. But, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, or night, wherever you are. And I'll catch you in my next hiccup <laughs> and video. Bye! Bye!